an alternative way to carry out a shaft alignment measurement with shaft align touch is the so-called static clock mode. Therefore, where we just had stopped in active clock, let me first change the measurement mode into the static clock. I hit on active clock on green ground in upper right side. In the revolving selection, I go for static clock, tip on it. Basically, what we need to know now is the inclinometer of the laser sensor unit is now switched off. That is, it is not finding and not feeling where we have moved it to. So we need to tell it the system where we are. Again, for our measurement, we do two things. Do the machine in run in direction according to this white arrow. And we will distribute then the points in as good as possible equal pieces of cake over the range which we have to come over here. So I go into the starting position. And what you see, obviously, you don't see that the sensors have moved. So I need to tell the sensors now where they are. I do this by this left and right arrows here on lower left side. Our starting position 730 I have reached now. So we start with the measurement. I press the M in the middle. A first reading has been taken. I proceed to the nine o'clock position. This is now suggested to us by the system because you would be assumed to do the measurement that way. I press the M. Two readings are recorded. I go to 1030. As the next position, press the M. Go to 12. Press the M. Go to 130. Press M. Again, you see it's just before an active clock. The fan has changed its color from red to yellow to green, now to blue. Go for three o'clock. Second reading has been taken. And finally, I move the sensors as much as possible without touching anything and take a last seventh reading. I could proceed taken readings. That would not matter in this case. I'm not limited to the number of eight as it was in the active clock mode. But as we have turned now from over there to over here as much as possible, I stay. With where we are now, I hit the white tick on blue ground to stop the measurement. Again, I see on left side the degree of rotation, which we have taken 270 degrees, obviously, seven readings, 100% quality factor. The result at the coupling we see on the lower right side, both in vertical and horizontal. So for vertical, we have gap and offset, and for horizontal, we have gap and offset. All readings show in red currently as the machine is misaligned. We'll take care of the alignment the next step. So that was the static clock measurement mode with shaft align touch.